Dave from Geekanoids and I'm really pleased to introduce to you my PC build series. Now over the next week or so I'll be bringing you a new video every single day and I'm going to be covering the building of a brand new PC from scratch. So that's starting with the case, the motherboard and CPU installation, memory installation, graphics card, hard drives and optical drives and then onto the Windows 7 installation itself. So please tune into the channel every single day and you'll get an update on how the PC build is progressing. I'm going to break it down into easy to follow sections for you as well. Now in this video I'm just going to introduce you to the components that I've selected to complete this PC build. Now the first component and obviously the largest one of this build is the Cooler Master HAF 922 case. Now HAF stands for High Airflow. I'm going to give you a closer look at the case in the next video, but high airflow basically means it's got some very large fans, great ventilation to keep all of the internal components as cool as possible. So this is the first component, which is obviously the processor, and I selected an Intel Core i7-930 processor. And as you can see here, it's LGA1366, which is the type of pin configuration it uses, so it works with socket 1366 motherboards. Now this is actually a quad-core processor, 2.8 GHz, although it will obviously be clockable. Moving on, we've got the motherboard, and I selected an Asus P6X58DE. Now I selected this for a few reasons. Firstly, Asus, very reliable. Secondly, it's also quite future-proof as well, in the fact that it's got USB 3 support, as you can see on the box here, and it also supports SATA 6 gigabit per second RAID. It's also ready for the Intel 6 core processors, so if I ever did upgrade the processor in this build, then this motherboard would be ready for it. Now next up we've got the graphics card, and this is an Asus EAH5870, extremely fast graphics card with 1 gigabyte of GDDR5 memory, and it also supports up to three monitors. Very, very fast performance. Really excited to get this one installed into the build. And this is the power supply. Now, I went for a Corsair HX850W. Now, the 850 stands for the power that it can supply. It's an 850 watt power supply. And it's also a modular power supply. Now, I will show you this in greater detail before it goes into the build. But basically, a modular power supply has these sockets on the front of the unit and you only plug in the cables that you're going to need. So all of those unused cables don't go into the case. So this aids with airflow and creates a very neat installation. Now next up we've got some crucial ballistics memory. This is a triple channel kit. So three two gigabyte memory modules, six gigabytes in total. And the motherboard that I showed you earlier actually supports triple channel memory. So I'm really excited to be getting this installed into the build. Now next up is an optical drive. This is an LG BH10 LS30. Now really excited to get this one installed into the PC as well. This little drive here is a SATA connection on the back and it will actually read and write both Blu-rays and DVDs. Now moving on to the hard drives, I've selected Samsung HD 103 SJs, they're one terabyte hard drive, 7200 RPM, uh, SATA, so you've got a nice fast connection on there, and I selected two because once these are installed into the PC I'm actually going to set these up in a RAID configuration, so extremely high performance is expected. And then last but not least is Microsoft Windows 7 Home Premium 64-bit, it's in this plain packaging because it's an OEM version for system builders. Well, I'm building a system, so this saved me a little bit of money on the build. Well, I hope that's given you a good introduction into the components I'm going to be installing into this case. Please do tune in every day over the next week or so for a new video, and we'll be kicking things off in the very next video with a look around the Cooler Master HAF 922 case. This video review is sponsored by EasyDraw making drawing fun on Mac OS X.